and welcome to the Daily Decrypt, where currency competition warrants a fancy new green screen, don't it? Yes. I am your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by Expanse. We already know that cryptocurrency has at least one highly functional application. Currency. I can send magic internet money from me to you faster than you can say Satoshi Nakamoto. But can a cryptocurrency also serve a purpose in addition to being a simple medium of exchange? Well, it can. And to an extent, it already does. Let me introduce you to three cause coins. And I say cause because the tokens on these networks have gained value by appealing to consumers who want to support a cause. Namely, computational research, alternative energy development, and healthcare research. Gridcoin was launched in late 2013 and has a current market cap equivalent to 2.7 million US dollars. The network is run on what its developers have dubbed proof of research, which is a form of proof of stake in which stakers perform computational developments for boink. That is to say, for the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing. Boink is intended to provide computation power for research, and it's being mainly utilized by universities and institutes. Gridcoin stakers doing computations for Boink get paid in the newly minted gridcoins each block. SolarCoin was launched in early 2014 and currently has a market cap equivalent to 700,000 US dollars. The SolarCoin Foundation, once every six months, pays out solar coins to any organization which can prove that they are generating solar energy, to the tune of one solar coin per one megawatt hour of solar energy generated. The network runs on proof of stake, with a half a percent reserve pool set aside to pay those running the nodes and its infrastructure. CureCoin was launched in mid-2014 and has a current market capitalization equivalent to 260,000 US dollars. The network is run on a combination of proof of work and proof of stake, where the workers are paid for their hashing power and the stakers are paid to perform computations for Stanford's Folding at Home program. Folding at Home is software which sets CPUs and GPUs to work at creating simulations of human protein folds, with the claim that more and better simulations of protein folds will lead to better treatments for Alzheimer's, Huntington's, and some forms of cancer. Honorable mentions to two networks with significantly lower market caps, first being Evergreen Coin, seeking to break into the solar development market, and Folding Coin, seeking to break into the folding at home market. All told, the current Coscoin market cap is equivalent to at least 4 million US dollars. And Coscoins have a few particular advantages over legacy cause institutions. Namely, one, their funds are much more easily audited. Two, participants are incentivized to help run the infrastructure. And three, these causes are funded voluntarily rather than through taxation. Imagine that! Will this $4 million cause market attract even more bleeding hearts with time? We shall see, brothers and sisters. Today's episode is brought to you by Expanse, an alternative public Ethereum network built with an agnostic modular stack. Expanse is a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization, seeking to deploy the best dApps and smart contracts within Ethereum. You can learn more about the platform, its community, and how you can get involved by visiting expanse.tech. And I hope you've enjoyed our new visual effect, but I can't be sure unless I take a poll. So look around your screen now for the little white circle with an eye inside it, and click it and take our quiz. And remember, this is for posterity, so be honest. How do you feel? Web and mobile wallets, which support multiple cryptocurrencies, make it easier to, say, try out a new coin, or just to keep balances of various currencies all in one place. The Daily Decrypt knows of four such wallets, and we'd like to give you a brief review of them now.